Oh, hi there. I'm Mark from the Laserbrook Farm. I'm glad to see you today. I've got a little bit of a project plan that I've wanted to get done for quite a while now. I've been having problems digging in the rocky soil that I have here and thought it'd be a good time to build a removable tooth bar for my front bucket. So, wanted to join me. It should be a pretty good project. The inside of my bucket measures about 51 and 3 quarter inches. There is a little bit of wiggle room that you've got here. You probably could go a little bit shorter than I did, but it turned out all right after a little bit of grinding. The bar stock I'm using is about 3 eighths of an inch thick. I have a link to the weld on bucket teeth in the description below. I'm setting these about eight and a half inches apart from each other and it should be pretty equal across the whole length. I'm going to start by tack welding these shanks in place. The teeth will be installed at a much later time. The welder I'm using at this time is a little bit on the weak side. It's only about 140 amps and you really should have something at at least 200 amps for doing something this thick. These tabs will be placed on either side of the tooth bar to hold it in place using a single bolt. They don't need to be that strong since most of the force is directed into the blade of the bucket. Now that those are tacked in place, I'm off to find a bigger welder. Aaron was gracious enough to let me take over a corner of the shop. The MIG welder I'm using, I believe, is around 250 amps. I MIGged around all sides of the shank to try to get the most strength I could, and I TIG welded the end brackets. We did have a little bit of warping to the bar, but it was minor enough that once you put it on, you didn't even notice. Back on the farm now, and this is perfect weather to get something done in the garage. I did have to do a little driving to either end, but it made it fit oh so perfect. Now that the bar is in its final shape, it's time to drill those mounting holes. Like I was mentioning before, all of the force is really directed into the blade of the bucket. These bolt holes really just support the weight of the tooth bar itself. I got this deburring tool a few years ago and it really cleans up these holes nicely. I'll put a link in the description for anyone interested in it. I'm sure this paint won't last long, but it'll stop a little bit of rust. Now that that's done, it's time for the final assembly. I did end up trying a few different methods to attach these teeth onto the shanks. I tried the Irwin quick clamps and they seemed to work okay. Uh, but I was really having problems delivering some force. Next I tried a classic metal C-clamp and that seemed to work pretty good. I was able to get a decent amount of force, but it took a lot of time and it didn't fit in some of the later teeth. What ended up actually working out the best was just a big old hammer. As you can see, it went in really quick. If you've watched some of my older videos, you might recognize this section. I've been working to try to build a road up to the upper section of my property and it's been slow going. There's been a lot of rocks that I've had to deal with to get out and without the tooth bar I've had to mainly get off the tractor and roll them into the bucket and it's been a bit, big pain in the butt. But as you can see with the tooth bar I'm able to work those rocks loose from the dirt and get them rolled right into the bucket. I haven't had a lot of time using the tooth bar yet. I'm still working out how to use it to the best of its abilities, but it's definitely worth all the time and effort I put into it. Without the tooth bar, this bucket would have just hit one of those smaller rocks and not gone any further into that dirt. 